The Center for Advanced Transportation Mobility is one of only two university transportation centers that's funded by the United States Department of Transportation that is housed in a historically black college or university. The other uniqueness is our focus on disenfranchised populations. We hope to improve people's lives in the center by making transportation more equitable for all. So by doing so, we will improve the quality of life for individuals because they will have access to the healthcare, the education, as well as the jobs that they need in order to survive and live well in our society. We have projects that are centered around our vulnerable road user population, as well as for emergency conditions. We currently have some projects that are looking at pedestrian safety. We also have projects that are looking at connected and autonomous vehicle technologies. So we have students who are building an autonomous vehicle. And we also have some micro mobility uh, options that are going to be autonomous running around our campus, hopefully within the next few months. We are working on autonomous vehicles from different perspectives either as a single autonomous vehicle or when they come together to form connected autonomous vehicles. And we work on different aspects from sensors, hardware, software, communication, all together when they form the connected autonomous vehicle concept. And that is something that, is, uh, that we hope to see, to see soon in our public roads. The things that makes research uh, unique in our group is diversity of minds and backgrounds of the students and the brilliant research, young researchers that are coming to the research group, going through the training uh, situations and, and infrastructure that we do have, and they come up with the unique solutions to many problems uh, that we are facing in uh, deployment of autonomous vehicles. The best thing about working on the Auto Drive project is that we get to tackle real world problems with some amazing technology where we were able to take this uh, standard Chevy electric vehicle and bring it to autonomy level four and implement the challenges being faced in urban environments, also in rural environments as well. Given that we had limited resources, we were able to implement our intellectual grit just to get some, some very innovative ideas implemented on the car that fill the gaps that where any constraints had left. And actually being a part of this and university being a part of something that's gonna you know, in, impact the future in a major way has been a, a great lesson for me and experience overall. This auto drive project provides very unique uh, opportunities for students to learn about new technologies and uh, new methodologies in the transportation area. Based on this experience of auto drive project, I could obtain the other research funds from NSF on this smart manufacturing. The so smart manufacturing means we apply this autonomy technology to the factory. So it is a combination of the robots and the transportation and the logistics and decision making, of course, including the sensors and the robots. As part of the Center for Advanced Transportation Mobility, my students and I worked on uh, research problems around exploring disruptions to airline networks as a result of severe weather events like hurricanes. I think the uniqueness of the approach lies in the fact that we try to use uh, realistic data, realistic weather data, as well as airline traffic data, integrate that into interpretable visualizations that users can look at to make data-driven decisions, and also incorporate that data into our network models that can uh, suggest policies for how the schedule should be recovered. And so there's a move toward using large-scale data to make data-driven decisions, so I think our research is positioned for that. Our project is all about a vulnerable road users and mobility assessment platform, developing the platform for all the vulnerable road users. Uh, we're trying to team up with someone in the mechanical engineering and all the students and even the, some people from Virginia Tech. The reason that this project is very important for us is the concept of the universal design. We want to include everyone, even including the uh, mobility cha uh, challenge people so that they can maintain the high quality of life. For example, we build the assessment platform on a mobile devices 
and then we put a lot of sensors on the wheelchair so that it automatically navigates around the city so that they can go to the transportation spot and then to go to the uh, doctor's office, things of nature. Some of our upcoming plans for our center are to kind of branch out a little bit more and to make sure that we are actually looking at rural populations as well. So rural populations have specific challenges that are special in terms of the ability to implement these automated and connected vehicle technologies that are coming up and hoping that we're going to be able to contribute to the design of the proper infrastructures that are necessary so that they can continue to be connected and have access to the healthcare, education, as well as the jobs they need to have a good life. So our purpose is to make sure that we are making that possible for everyone in our society.